Hello everyone, my name is Eric King and look familiar. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been at G-Fest this entire time and I will upload a video of my G-Fest experience. So I'm back home. Everything will be fine. I'll try to start making videos again. But I just want to show you a little thing I do every time I'm at G-Fest. My collection update. So this is just a bunch of figures I got at G-Fest and a bunch of things I just thought were cool. So, let's start this out. First off, we got Titan Redeemer from Pacific Rim Uprising. I love that movie so much, I just had to get this figure. And since I'm making a Godzilla movie, I thought he would be the coolest robot I could put in there. So, yeah. Alright, the next figure I got at my great G-Fest is the 2004 Gaikan. Now, I bet you're wondering, why do you have this? I, I thought you had one. I'm a and this one has a horn and a tail. I, If I was going to make a movie on Godzilla or with Gaikan in it or something like that, I want a good Gaikan. Plus, I'm not going to keep putting Showa Gaikan in my movie. No, that's just very lame. Plus, the guy yet's already destroyed, so... Yeah. The next figure I got is... Let me get him over here. Armored Mephilus. He, he, can't, he can't stand on his own. And you're saying, don't you have this guy, too? This one has the sword, and it's not one of those see-through. You know, you put it near a light, you can see right through him. No, this is an actual official. The other one was official, too, but I wanted the one that... Was and the first real one. Since he can't stand up, I'll just put him there. Alright, next one. We got, this has to be one of my favorites. Skull Femora. Let me just move the camera back, considering how big this guy is. There we go. I'm keeping the iPad attached to a giant drum set, so it ain't easy. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Skull Gamora. Uh, I wanted to get another Gamora, because I'm a huge Gamora fan. I love him. He's my favorite ultra kaiju. And I felt like, when I saw him, I, I'm like, yeah, I might as well get him. I only need two Gamoras left, and then I'm done with the collection of Gamora. Until they release another 50. Next one is Mechagodzilla, or Kiryu. This one I saw everywhere at G-Fest. Let me get the light on him. Mainly because it's Mechagodzilla with armor attached to him. Uh, this one was just made this year, you can see 2018. I just had to get this guy, he's just super cool looking and I just wanted him in my collection. And uh, so I could complete the Mechagodzilla 6 inch figure collection. Alright, let's see who else. I also got this big guy. I need to complete the 6 inch Godzilla collection as well, so I got Earth Godzilla from the anime Godzilla movie. This guy I just saw everywhere, and people were buying him real fast. I had to get him while I still had it. Uh, here's his tag. Pretty cool. Pretty co oh, yeah, I forgot. I had to show you his tag, too. Another cool little piece. It's basically the same in every single card. Guy Gans isn't really different. Just Guy Gan. No one cares about Guy Gan. And uh, Skull Gamora. Again. So yeah, I just had to get this figure because it's just super cool and I, I honestly just wanted him. Let me move him a little up. Alright. Next one. Speaking of Godzilla Earth, I got 
the dragon from Godzilla Earth. I have to hold him up because he's so small. I don't remember these things' names, but I do know they originated from Godzilla. And since I had to get Godzilla, might as well get this guy. I was thinking to gain more, but no, I thought that would just be too wasteful. Because there's a lot of other things I wanted. I'll put him right here until I have room for him later. Oh, and a new figure that was also released and I saw everywhere was Biolante. Yeah, small Alante, more like it. Uh, this is a six-inch version. It's another Violante. Only two Violantes I've ever really seen. And yeah, I just wanted this figure. It was super cool looking. Tag 2018. Nothing in there, really. So yeah, just felt like I needed the... There we go. Next up, two figures actually. I got it the same, uh, same thing. King Kong 2017, King Kong 2017, roaring, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw both of these guys, and I'm, I just wanted both. Uh. Like, if I was going to do a movie, I'll use this guy for a normal expression. I'll use this guy for a roaring part. Yeah. I just felt like this was a cool thing to do. This guy's some wasted a little. Yeah, you can hear that. It's a little off, but I'd rather have it than nothing. They only had, like, one, two of these guys, so I'm glad I got them when I did. Hopefully you can still see guy. Yeah, you can see him in the back. There you go. All right, we only got a couple more left. Next one is the NECA Godzilla. I saw this guy. He was twenty five dollars. Uh, I don't remember the price for the other guys. They're like around. 55 of uh, 20. But yeah, these, this guy, I saw him, I'm like, oh yeah, that guy looks really cool. Plus, would it hurt to get more NECA figures? Because NECA is actually a really cool franchise. And yeah, it just goes as, it can fight Banda, it can fight even Monster Arts. Mainly because, they're, look at this. This design is really cool looking, and it, it can almost go up against uh, Monster Arts. And, uh, if I didn't tell you this was NECA, did, would you even know? Yeah. Anyways, that's NECA Godzilla. Put him back here. I only got a couple more left. Uh, the, f the final real figure is do 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 Yes, the 1964 Godzilla. This guy was surprisingly cheap. He was like sixty dollars. I expected him to be a lot more. I, I thought he would be like a hundred something dollars. Anyways, yeah, this guy is really cool. It's hard to see him because of the lighting, but you kind of get the—he's the smallest official figure out of all of them. That guy's even bigger. The um, dragon's bigger than him. In a size, if you put him on his stomach, on his tail to his head, yeah, you, you get the idea. Anyways, let me put our little Godzilla back here. And, um, the rest is just accessories, like, uh, the fire breath came with the 64 Godzilla. And the claw came with Titan Redeemer. But there's one more figure. Not official. Well, it is official, but it came with Titan Redeemer, actually, back there. Um, it's not the greatest figure. I, I probably do a whole site video on that, this figure. Probably the first one, because this thing is just so funny. 
Yes, it is Scrapper. I think, I, yeah, Scrapper Jaeger. Um, from Opera, uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. It's uh came with Titan Redeemer, and it's just a really cool. Oh, sorry, I dropped them. It's it's actually a pretty cool mini uh, figure, but it's just so tiny. And um, yeah, remember how I was saying Godzilla sixty four was tiny? This guy is like. Pretty much, if Godzilla 64 took some pills that made him super small, and then became a robot and got rid of his tail, this is this is Scrapper. But um, the figure is pretty cool. The design, no color into it, sadly, but yeah, it's a really cool figure. Put him back here. He's so hard to stand up. There we go. Anyways, that is the collection update. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you guys, if you were at G-Fest, I hope you enjoyed it as well, and if you weren't, I just hope you were enjoying your day. <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to say. So, yeah, the uh, G-Fest was fun enjoying. Uh, I hope you like the video, huh? and if you don't, that's your opinion. <laughs> um... Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I got we'll see you guys in the next video. Eric out. <laughs>